All right, all right, what's going on? So back again, um, I don't know how long this uh, fucking battery is gonna last, but I just had a little bit of time and uh, wanted to try and get one of these videos filmed. So this might not uh, be a particularly long video, but um, I'm gonna do my best. Uh, we're gonna talk about five uh, 2020 releases. I have some of my, my favorite shit that's been released this year uh, in this stack, so. I'm excited to talk about it. Starting off, this is what we're listening to in the background. Uh, fuck. This is a Majestic Mass with Savage Empire of Death. Uh, this is a band from Denmark. Uh, a band that honestly I kind of um, accidentally ignored for a little while. And I actually had listened to it a couple times. Um, just people sort of recommending it to me, but uh, I don't think it was on any any physical shit so uh i think i had it in my liked videos on youtube and it sort of got buried uh but this is fucking fantastic man uh really really hoping this gets an lp press at some point but uh, if you've never heard it majestic mass is fucking great all right so like i said five 2020 releases uh we're gonna start off with uh what will probably be my my favorite record of the year this is black magic ss with Rainbow Knights. Oh my God. So I'm starting to think that that maybe um, this along with the last two releases have been full length albums. Uh, this one was definitely called a, a new album uh, by Infinite Wisdom um, from what I remember. Uh, but I mean, you know, and not like it really matters uh, but if this is a full length album, the last two definitely were as well. Because I don't think this one was like any longer than either of those other two or anything like that. But uh, yeah, man, I, I was talking like three or four days before this uh, dropped on YouTube that I was like dying for a new Black Magic record. And uh, I was laying in bed, I had just gotten in bed one night. But Infinite Wisdom had posted a picture of the album cover saying like the fucking new album was on YouTube, but I immediately went and listened to the whole thing, and that was back in April, and ever since then, I've listened to this shit like once a day. Uh, th this is absolutely fucking fantastic. I don't prefer it to Spectral Ecstasy. That, for me, is like one of the best records that's come out in like the last 10 years. Uh, but this is, uh, this is almost as good, but this is quite a bit different too. Because Black Magic SS has always sort of incorporated like the, the pipe organ synth shit. And this doesn't really have that. This has basically replaced that with like 80s uh, sounding synth shit instead. The best example of that is the song Get Out, uh, which is entirely like clean vocals. But those 80s synths are all over that song. Uh, and it's probably just the best example of it. Uh, for me, I think Endless Hallucinations or The Truth, the first or the last song, is probably my favorite on this one. But I could ramble about this for too long. In fact, I just had to kind of stop myself. So, uh, there's the album cover right there. It is sort of similar to the CD cover, as in like, these dudes on the horses here are on the CD cover. Um, but, you know, they always do different art for the CD and the record, which I think is cool. Uh, back cover is super cool. I like the almost like uh, cowboy western uh, font that they used here. Uh, but yeah, you got the track listing. This was put out through Creep Purple Records, uh, which also did the CD version as well as the uh, cassette version, uh, which is super cool. The vinyl itself is just black, but uh, the labels are kind of cool. And this did include three stickers, the uh, Reach for the Sky sticker. Uh, Black Magic Hooligan, and then the uh, Cree Purple Records um, sort of rendition of this artwork. Very cool. But yeah, this is a fucking great record. It's very different, like I said, especially the song Mother's Lullaby, um, which it, for me is kind of the low point on this record, uh, but still a fucking great song. Uh, very catchy. Uh, Kali, Rainbow Nights, fucking awesome, man. I love this record. I, this band can't fucking miss. And I can never wait to see what, whatever it is this band does next because I, I could only see them getting better. Fucking awesome. Fantastic. If you don't like this shit, you're lying to yourself. That's Black Magic SS with Rainbow Knights. Next 
up? This is a band I've actually never talked about before, and I have a couple of the records uh, now. Um, but for a long time they were out of press, they were kind of just hard to find, so I never owned any of them. But uh, this is the new album from uh, Melokarpitan. This band is from uh, Slovakia. If you're not familiar, this is the third album from Melokarpitan. And if you've never heard it, it's a black metal band, but um, there's, there's a lot more to this. So just calling it a black metal band, I think, is a, a bit of an unfair assessment. Because musically on this one, like, uh, a, a lot of the riffs sound like something straight out of an older heavy metal album. But it's constantly changing, musically very fucking interesting. The keys on this one, um, when, when they do show their face, they sort of create a very eerie atmosphere. And this whole thing... Uh, sort of has an, an overarching, like, eerie atmosphere to it. The vocals live somewhere in the mid-high range. Um, nothing overly special, but they fit nicely. Uh, and the packaging is quite nice as well. I'll show you, um, front cover is very cool. The artwork actually all over this thing is, uh, is really nice and I think fits nicely with the story it tells. Back cover, you should have a picture of, uh, the band members <laughs> wearing capes in the woods. The gatefold is fucking gorgeous, man. Again, this style of art fits so nicely with the story of this album. Um, and the story of this album, uh, is kind of, uh, mentioned in this booklet that it comes with here, and I'll actually read it to you. So the concept, um, the album is called Krupinski One, I think, which I don't think I mentioned before, because I'm retarded. Uh, but that translates to The Fires of Krupina, and it says it is a concept story based on real happenings that occurred in the town of Krupina during 17th century, amidst the numerous witchcraft trials that swept across Europe of those days. So that's what this is about. It's about witch trials, which is cool. But in the inside of the booklet, you have more art and you have the, I guess it's maybe the stories of each individual song with the lyrics. And that comes in the band's native language and English. Uh, so it's super fucking cool, man. And if you read along uh, with the story and the lyrics, this definitely, it definitely helps paint uh, a pretty accurate image of what this band is going for here. I fucking love this record. And also really cool, on the inside of the, uh, like pockets, uh, there's print in there. You don't see that too often, that's very cool. Uh, and finally, the vinyl itself is the orange vinyl. It came on black or orange. Um, I think you can still get this through uh, the Ajna Offensive. I think Nuclear War Now has them. Um, if you can find uh, the first or second album, as well just grab them man they're fantastic this whole this band's whole discography is really really good uh yeah man super cool to see this band come out with a new album uh you know I, i've kind of been wise to the band for uh honestly about five years now but uh, just never owned anything until now um fantastic awesome shit uh check it out malakarpitan krupinski one <laughs> Next up, this is a band from Finland, and, and this is honestly, like, if not for that Black Magic record, this would probably be my favorite thing to have dropped this year. This is Faustian Pact with, uh, Otosian Tornian Varioisa. So, uh, this is one of those bands that have been around for quite a while. I think they formed back in, like, 07 or something like that. And um, they, they didn't do much. They put out three demos, with the most recent being like 10 years ago, completely disappeared, and then came back with a full length album. And holy fuck, man. If you told me that this band spent every second of that 10 year gap uh, sort of crafting this record, I would believe you. This is so fucking good. It's like symphonic black metal, ultra melodic, but for me, like the the use of the synths and the keys, it's this is fucking awesome. The best way I've seen this described is like uh, a really good combination between uh, like the first Cradle of Filth album and the first Emperor album. This lives somewhere in in there, uh, but it's ultra fucking catchy. Um, I, I, the there's a part on I think it's the first song. It's either the first song or the last song on the first side, I think. Um, there's a part where uh, these like female vocals come in 
and it's it, that, honestly that's the best incorporation of female vocals into something like this that I've ever heard. Like honestly, this is something special. I think I really, really, truly love this album. Um, which I could gush about it forever. The album cover is of a castle, of course it is. Um, the, the back cover has the track listing and pictures of the three band members. Um, this one being my favorite. That guy just looks like the picture of conviviality, doesn't he? Um, <laughs> the, all the lyrics, uh, another picture of the band members. And I really like this on the gatefold here. It says Faustian Poetry and a Mysterious Pact. And this one also had the option of two different colored vinyl. Uh, there was black and there was this really nice uh, gold black swirl which uh, yeah I think looks really good. I love these like fucking black and color swirl records. They always look super nice. This also comes with a lyric sheet. These are the, uh, the English translation of the lyrics right here which is cool. And finally it comes with a massive fucking poster uh, which I will unfold for you. It's uh, basically just the album cover with the uh, three band members at the bottom. Very cool. So, yeah, man, shit's fucking white hot. I love this record. Uh, I'm sure you guys have all heard it. Put out their werewolf records, so it's not exactly a secret. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Check it out, man. Faustian Pat. All right, this will probably be the only uh, record I'll, yeah, this will be the only record I show in this video that I've got any sort of like criticism of. This is Caustic Wound with Death Posture. So this band is from Seattle and uh, this is the debut album following only one other release, which was a demo that came out back in 2018. And most of these songs came from that demo. Um, I don't believe it was all of them, but uh, I, like my cursory look, it looked like at least most of them were. Now this record is is very heavy. It's very noisy. This is like a it's a death grind band, um, so you know you kind of have at least a vague idea of what that means. Um, the songs are short, and there's a bunch of them on here. Um, but my my problem is that by the by the B side, the songs definitely start to blend together. Um, that's not necessarily always a bad thing but uh, when the songs are as short and just noisy as these are um, it, it's kind of hard to keep attention but that being said this is a really good record I like the sound this band creates um, I, I just I definitely don't need multiple you know records of it uh, but the album cover is super fucking cool. My assumption is that that's probably a real picture just sort of distorted. I also like the back cover uh, again, it's almost like this sort of carcassy like collage, but sort of uh, constructed a bit differently. Uh, it's very cool. You got all the track listing. Uh, this record is only like 20 something, 22, 23 minutes long. Um, there's quite a few tracks on it, but that's what you get when it's kind of like a grind band. Uh, put out through Profound Lore. And you got an inner sheet with all the lyrics, a picture of the band playing live, um, and all the copies were on uh, black vinyl. There was also uh, clear vinyl, but from what I read on Profound Lore's website, uh, that wasn't available to the public. That was just for bands and staff and shit. So yeah, really not much to say about this one. Uh, if you like fast, noisy death grind, uh, I guess you can't go wrong. Because like I said, throughout the first side on this thing, I'm fucking all in. Uh, really cool. Check it out. Caustic Wound Death Posture. Finally, my camera battery is about to die, so we're gonna have to blow through this. This is Grifta Skimpning with Svart Materia. So, uh, right off the bat, it's important to mention that uh, this is basically another one of the Sir N projects, the guy from Grob and Drog and Svartrit and all that shit. Uh, so, you know, you can kind of, right off the bat, sort of have an idea of where this sort of falls in the uh, spectrum of like raw Swedish black metal because it's not overly raw. Uh, this is really, really good as well. Again, it's very melodic, um, which is definitely a nice change of pace for like the raw style of black metal. This almost uh, creeps up to like sounding a bit epic at points, especially on the last song. But uh, this is actually one of two full length albums that came out this year from Grift to Skimpning. 
Um, I don't have the other one yet, though uh, if it hits the States then I will grab it. Um, but it's kind of funny because uh, both of the full length albums came out after a nine year gap with nothing. Uh, so this one's kind of hard to show because it's fucking super glossy. Uh, but there's the album cover, which is quite cool. There's the back cover right there, put out through Darker Than Black. Uh, the gatefold, you got all the lyrics. Again, it's all super fucking glossy. And this was available on either uh, black vinyl or blue vinyl. This is just the black. So yeah, man, uh, super fucking good. I'm sure you guys know Grift is Skimfning, and I'm sorry that I had to completely blow through this. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure you've heard it, like I said sort of raw melodic black metal. The vocals sound a little bit like what you could imagine some of the Bequet Next Move vocals sound with a little bit better like production. Uh, yeah, dude, really fucking good shit. You'll like what you hear in the sound clip, I guarantee it. It's a grip to skimfing with spark material. That's it guys, I have no idea how this camera battery hasn't fucking died yet, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it here, and uh, we'll be back as soon as I have some more shit pulled out, which takes about five seconds. Um, I'll try and get one of these done before too long. So uh, thanks for toughing it out, and uh, we'll be back soon guys, later.